Hey guys, going to give you one of Hoops Market Wraps. I think it's time to sort of delve in a little bit into the market, how I see it myself. These are my own views, my own opinions. But at the end of the day, I think it's a very, very interesting time. There's a lot going on and it's going to be interesting to see how things play out. You can probably see here the headline is the fake BlackRock ETF approval news. Which, which came out a little over 24 hours ago. Uh, it was fake, or it was an accidental output supposedly by Cointelegraph. But what we saw there was very interesting, right? Because a lot of people have been saying, is the, the ETF news already priced into the market? And I think we saw some things that occurred there that probably say that that's not the case. Um, so from, our, for, or from my perspective, especially, it's like, this ETF news, I think, is going to be huge. So what we're going to get is we're going to get the ability to um, to obviously purchase ETF shares. So to legitimize the space within these uh, ETFs, I think, as the SEC get further and further down uh, in, in a position where they, they really cannot choose anything but to approve one or multiple of these ETFs, um, what that's going to do is going to legitimize the space. I think that's huge, right? It gives the the pension funds and all of the really, really big money that sits in places like BlackRock gives it the opportunity to get involved in Bitcoin. So we're going to, in my opinion, see a big surge once once we see BlackRock and things like that um, release an ETF. Then it legitimizes the space. And then these being a spot ETF is huge because at the moment there are ETFs, but they don't require you to have the physical Bitcoin. So this was uh, was big, and, and I think even here, um, just to see that, it, you know, we're getting here from Eric that BlackRock ETF is still under application there for review by the SEC. So really, we don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I, but I do think they will have to approve an ETF, and that will be huge. So I want to jump in and have a look at the chart, because um, the chart does, in my opinion, look bullish. It's over a long-term uh, view, and, and I think it's always good to zoom out, right? Because a lot of the time we're looking at the immediate um, chart, what does it look like? And, and we're thinking, oh, it's going down, or but, but we're not necessarily zooming out and seeing what it looks like so far um, and what the, the overall long-term trend is, right? So firstly, let's have a look at this candle because that there was, a was we were sitting at about $27,000. We're a little bit depressed down here. And then bang, the news comes out and we jump $3,000 to almost 30000 So we get this huge rise in price at the, at the time of this uh, supposed fake news, which quickly gets stamped out. So I think we've sort of seen that, hey, if the market was to see an ETF approval, we're going to see, you know, potentially a huge, huge rise here. So we're probably pricing in a bit of it now because I think we're, we're even closer and closer to thinking that that's going to happen. But... If you look back to sort of the lows that we had down in November, we've sort of really just tracked up and, and sort of sat up here and stalled for, for quite some time, right? And really just had sideways chop with a bit of up, bit of down, and sometimes just some very, like, like we sat in these consolidated places for quite some time. And I think you'll find that a lot of the time, the accumulation has been going on here for things like the BlackRock ETF. So the smart, like, like, what we're seeing in the space is there's not a lot of general investor or retail investor type activity. And when that happens, you usually find that's the periods where the, the smart money is accumulating. And we're seeing these big sort of jumps in volume where, the, you know what I mean? There, there, there's opportunities that they've been accumulating here. And when they have a spot ETF, they're gonna need the physical Bitcoin to back it up. So it would make sense that, that people like BlackRock and things like that are accumulating. Now. Um, this is this is a daily chart. The the interesting thing I think we can have a look at is what's happening on the four hourly and, and zooming in a little bit is that we're starting to get a bit of a bullish flag. So that is sort of really like a built up pressure. It's sitting above all those highs there. So and, and we've been sitting down here just tracking along sideways for so long, and now we've broken up and out with unfortunately the fake news. But I think the market is starting to go. Oh, okay, it, it's an interesting time. So. Very, very interesting to see what happens here. And to me, that that's that's a bullish move, right? Like we, we could definitely break up out of there and then we're gonna obviously come up and probably test these these highs here back up and around about where that wick sort of sort of dropped down from. So 
I am a huge ETH maxi, right? Ethereum is is for me the um, the opportunity in the market long term because it's where all the application layer is built, right? We have all the layer twos that are that are coming off it, and then everyone obviously there's other competing layer ones, but Ethereum definitely has that crown there. And for the foreseeable future, it's going to be the smart contract place that allows people to automate things on the blockchain. Um, and, and obviously have approvals and, and data feedback. There's a lot that the blockchain can do when these smart smart contracts interact. But um, if, if, I, if I have to be honest, I'm actually looking at the, the Ethereum chart and saying it's not as bullish as Bitcoin. It, it simply, to me, might lag. And I think Bitcoin is going to lead this. If, I, if I'm honest with myself, and I hate to be because I definitely um, am more in the Ethereum corner, than, than Bitcoin itself long term. In the short term, I think Bitcoin looks like it has the upper hand. Don't get me wrong, the chart here is starting to look uh, look pretty good like this consolidation period and we're starting to trend up a little bit here. But obviously, um, and that's that's a that's a much longer term chart. But I still sort of think it's it's lagging a little bit behind in how bullish to me over that longer period or that, that period there that, that Bitcoin was looking. So um, and that's just the daily chart. Sorry, I'll just click back. But you can see how it was just really getting going there and it almost looks like it wants to break up again there. So that, that's sort of how I'm viewing it. And then we go along and we have a look at the, the Bitcoin dominance chart, which is something that you want to be tracking at this point here. And we're seeing that Bitcoin dominance has been rising and rising. And, and that's a bullish chart. You know, we're getting, we're getting higher highs, higher lows. So we're starting to see that the Bitcoin dominance has been growing and it's been growing, which effectively at some point it will cap out. I don't know if we, like, like obviously when we didn't have many altcoins, we sit at 98%. Then we got, you know, the, the, the Ethereums and all of that. So it was harder for it to, then we had the altcoin rallies back then when we, when everyone sort of discovered crypto and we had all those ICOs and, and the dominance dropped right back down to, to 37 at the at the peak of the bull run, we saw Bitcoin dominance drop again. But typically in these stages, as you lead up to the halving and things like that, you start to see Bitcoin take the lead here. And, uh, and that's what's been happening. So I'm showing you this because I think it's important to understand where, where the market cycle is and where it's going to rotate back to, right? Because now is the time to be, you know, accumulating, I would say. If, if the smart money is accumulating here, then the next thing it does is it'll flow into uh, potentially Ethereum and altcoins after that. So depending on how we roll up to the halving is going to depend on exactly how we start to see things move. So Bitcoin does break out, then I think we'll start to see the whole market heat up in a certain way. And people will take positions in areas that they think um, could be substantial wins in a bull run. So from from what I'm seeing, the, the main thing that I can wrap up here is that the market to me looks like it's tracking uh, as expected, right, for um, you know a move into the halving in about six months. So a little bit longer than six months. So I think what we're seeing is the market trend towards what it generally does, right? Like we're not seeing anything out of the ordinary. We're not seeing, oh no, the price looks like it's just gonna continue down. So, uh, there's, there's no support there. There's no one purchasing. We can see obviously here there was support and it's been been trying to, to sort of break out of this range, I think. And, and in some ways, maybe we saw some manipulations that I would consider manipulations that pushed it back down as, as people like BlackRock want to um, accumulate. So. Then I just want to quickly move on here because I, I think this shows the altcoin market pretty well as well. So this is just here on CoinGecko, but you can go along and you can sort of see the peaks of what we get in these bull runs, right? Like these huge peaks where where you see altcoins absolutely, um, you know, outstrip any gains that you could imagine on something like Bitcoin, right? Like we're, we're, we're watching these and don't forget other altcoins are coming into the market and things like that. So you need to to look at this chart, um, understanding that it's not just the, the same altcoins that were, were back here. We have different um, tokens that, that obviously join that journey. But 
Um, one of the things here is this to me probably shows exactly what we're in and that's an accumulation phase and obviously there'll be new token projects launching as well that, that offset this but but that chart to me looks pretty much like we're, we're accumulating along this period here so it's an interesting point for altcoins right um, and I think you know the time where they will shine will be after the ETF and the halving and stuff like that where where Bitcoin does its thing but it, but it definitely provides some opportunities as people earn and stake positions, take positions within the uh, the market out there. So I think recapping, we've got basically Bitcoin chart. You know, personally, I think it looks bullish. I've thought it's looked bullish for quite some time, um, and I think it's it's probably due to see if it can test this high here, and uh, and hopefully break out because then you know the market's very different to what we expect, uh, what we have seen in the past. So I think to wrap that up, Bitcoin could do anything, <laughs> but I I do have um, you know sort of a bit of a uh, more of a I'm more leaning towards it being bullish um, because of all the things happening and and the biggest thing potentially ever to happen to crypto is it the ETF. I, as, as much as I love my Ethereum, I think that Bitcoin is slightly better at the moment as the hold, but um, that will quickly change around at some point. I think you just got to be uh, either, either accumulating now, getting ready for it, but I think at some point it will uh, take the lead as it has in other bull runs and, and does take. At the end of the day, if you hold Ethereum or, or Bitcoin today, you'd probably do better off holding Ethereum, I think, personally. And history over the last two bull runs has suggested that, so or, or has proven that. So um, definitely a good, good opportunity there. And then looking at that Bitcoin dominance and trying to understand where we think that will peak out this time. I don't think it'll get as high because we have more coins in the market. Um, and I think we'll we'll start to see it find its dominance, you know, in the next little period, potentially around about the halvening. So um leaving you there with that hopefully the wrap up showed you some things about what i'm thinking people that are not always watching the markets on a daily basis so hopefully can share some information and do these more regularly for you so that you can keep up to date